Hua Tuo, inventor of Ma Fei San, the oldest anesthetic in the world, was frequently mentioned by critics of Western medicine in China. Records say that after taking Ma Fei San, patients will not feel a thing when Hua Tuo cuts open their bellies and conducts surgeries. His innovation seemed to provide a solid case for his critics, claiming that since China had developed anesthetics thousands of years before Westerners, Westerners must have stolen Ma Fei San and claimed as their own to fool ignorant Chinese citizens. On the other hand, supporters of Western medicine pointed out that there was no evidence to prove such plagiarism, since Ma Fei San's recipe was lost after Hua Tuo's death. Over the years, Hua Tuo became both overpraised and slandered. Who then was the real Hua Tuo? In this video, we'll try to find out. Western ideas and products were introduced to China at the end of Qing Dynasty. Out of all these astonishing developments, it was Western medicine and surgery that most shocked the Chinese. Not only did these advanced techniques profoundly impact how patients were treated, they also contradicted and seemingly surpassed traditional Chinese medicine practices that had been passed on over millennia. Many Chinese who experienced the effectiveness of Western medicine began to criticize Chinese medicine. Others strongly objected to Western medicine practices to preserve Chinese culture. And some even tried to use historical records to suggest that Western medicine had been plagiarized from ancient Chinese medicine, which is how the controversy of Hua Tuo started. The last of Hua Tuo's most famous invention, Ma Fei San, was due to Cao Cao, one of the predominant figures of the Three Kingdom period. Working under Cao Cao, Hua Tuo felt underappreciated and left, claiming he had to care for his sick wife. Cao Cao, enraged after realizing the deception, ordered Hua Tuo to be executed. Records say that the night before Hua Tuo's beheading, he tried to give the book with his medical knowledge to the prison guard, begging him to pass on the knowledge. However, the guard, thinking that such knowledge has incriminated Hua Tuo in the first place, burned the book instead. Consequently, all of Hua Tuo's innovations were lost to history. In the few surviving records about Hua Tuo, it is known that he, like other great doctors of ancient China, had strong observational skills and had mastered the use of medicine. There was a case where he gave two patients with identical symptoms different treatments. When asked why, he explained that the patients had developed the symptom for different reasons, requiring different treatments. Within days, both have recovered, an apparent miracle for bystanders, as most doctors of the time could simply observe patients. Hua Tu also deeply understood parasites and infections. Chen Deng, a famous general and king during the Three Kingdom period, enjoyed eating raw fish from the river. Due to unsanitary conditions, he became gravely ill from such meal. However, after Hua Tuo gave him some medicine, he coughed up two liters of worms and recovered. Although many debates around Hua Tuo focused on his invention of Ma Fei San, he had also developed many other medical innovations and skills worth remembering. One of the most famous is Wu Qin Xi, a type of gymnastic imitating movements of the tiger, deer, Beer, ape, and bird, believed to make people look young even at age 90. He was also the first Chinese doctor to develop an effective strategy to kill Icterus, saving thousands of lives during warfare. Furthermore, Hua Tuo extensively researched Shang Han, a serious illness during the Three Kingdom period. Although Hua Tuo never managed to kill the illness, he collected and analyzed his observations on patients from all perspectives and wrote Shang Han Lun, which served as one of the most important tools for later doctors to better diagnose and treat the disease. Overall, Hua Tuo was undeniably a very influential doctor in Chinese history and a huge contributor to Chinese medicine. However, it is worth noting that it is very unlikely that Westerners had claimed his idea as their own for anesthetics since no one, besides him, knew the actual formula of Ma Fei San. I'm Han Yihuang, thank you for watching, and see you next time.